Hey everybody, welcome to Meddling World. Today, March 17th, happy St. Patrick's Day. I wore my fluorescent green for St. Patrick's Day today. We're here at Typhoon Lagoon, just opened again today after being closed for several months. And I just wanted to point out we're already parking in the overflow parking. Come on in, check it out. I usually don't start my vlogs in a parking lot, but I think it's important to do it today, guys, because, okay, Typhoon Lagoon opens at 10 a.m. It's 11 a.m. and the, the, the regular parking area here, as you can see, Roberta, Jake, already packed. Again, we had to park way over and I've never seen, I can tell you all the years I've been coming to Disney to the water parks, I've never seen um, parking attendance actually directing parking so people are happy to be back at and typhoon lagoon not even the nicest day either you know it's warm but it's not very sunny i think the sun's supposed to come out so we figured we'd bring you along on a little adventure we'll show you a little bit around typhoon lagoon and we're just happy that it's open again but now pay attention to this blizzard beach closed so they still are not running both parks open at the same time they have not done it since pandemic now they used to in the winter would close one and kind of rotate it but in the summer this time of the year they would have both water parks blizzard beach and typhoon lagoon both open uh at the same time but since pandemic they have not done that so but anyway a little information about typhoon lagoon let's go on in and uh i got a feeling it's gonna be busy as we get ready to enter and do want to show you guys you can uh you know if you're utilizing lyft or uber they do have these nice little areas actually there's somebody getting dropped off by lyft right there so you can lift in they also as the bus goes by perfect timing um resorts will do transportation here for you i i believe there is a connection though you go to animal kingdom and then they transfer you here but you would take the bus from your resort that says typhoon lagoon uh then they bring you to animal kingdom bus depot area there and then you would board the uh shuttle for typhoon lagoon and also free parking if you're driving in there's no charge to park at the water parks this is where you're going to enter and do want to give you a little update with the prices if you're just coming for a day you can see there's 74 to walk in wow one day 74 now there's also different options if you are staying in a resort if you're booking like a, a stay in one of the resorts you can add on the water parks and more option resort stays yeah also annual pass uh i know i have an annual pass jake does roberta's a cast member she doesn't need one um and actually right now cast members are free yeah. up and through may uh, but if you do have an annual pass, there's a package you can add on. It's $100. It will include unlimited admission to the water parks uh, and ESPN. Yes. So that's also something to keep mini in mind. Golf. And mini golf before 4 p.m. Yes. Mini golf is also free. But I, I do love to give a lot of information on Meddling World a as well as bringing you on the adventure, guys. So please take a moment, subscribe to Meddling World if you haven't yet doesn't look too busy to go in let's do it just to give you a little idea the theming basically this the theming here at typhoon lagoon is this used to be a beautiful right resort tropical area and a typhoon came through and it uh kind of destroyed the island right the, the wind came in it kind of uh wreaked havoc over the island and things got misplaced and broken uh and then they kind of just said you know what we'll just kind of fix it up a little bit and it'll st it'll still be okay uh so that's kind of the theming they have an awesome wave pool we'll show you uh so you can see here actually some of that theme i'm talking about like the old little tugboat here uh actually looks like a little lobster boat little fishing boat uh kind of uh stranded here got washed up on shore so and of course up top tilly stuck up on the mountain uh so yeah it's pretty cool and you'll see it like as you go through um 
even here the Singapore cells you can see kind of the roof here and all the life preservers and things stuck on top it's right across from the retail as I was showing you there it's kind of neat right so the lobster traps got thrown up there during the storm uh, all different things stuck on top the uh, life preservers pretty neat and, and right across here guys just in case somebody gets lost you could always point out Roberta's always big on this Matt make sure you show lost children here so or anybody if you if you, you kind of get lost or you get separated go there they have a great system with communicating everybody around so you won't be lost for long hopefully and another thing I wanted to point out is they do like Disney in the regular traditionally in the regular parks they do not offer this but here they do have a refillable mug you can get for your whole day use so you can see $12.99 for one day and then you can actually bring it back and reactivate it so once you pay the $12.99 you can fill this up as much as you want and then if you were coming back for another day especially if you're local and you come in or even if you're far and you come multiple times you bring it back and it's $8.50 so I think that's a really cool uh idea a, a cool option to have coming to the water park you don't have to lug a bunch of drinks with you it does work out pretty well another thing i'd like to point out they actually have towels uh, if you're staying on property they do offer complimentary towels you can use um, for the day then you just return them uh, when you leave if you're off property and you need a towel it's two dollars to use and you can get them right here so just to give you that little information this is a store anyway a little dark in here but i figured i'd show you they got everything even if you needed a bathing suit you could come grab your bathing suit yeah, they actually have towels for sale right over that there really all good. kinds of cool stuff little snacks oh look at donald i love that so what do you think roberta i think it's busy it's busy for a cloudy day but it just opened again yeah. also they got your changing rooms over there bathrooms lockers it's kind of your main hub as you walk in. It's where you can get everything. They got snacks. You can also do your popcorn buckets if you have a popcorn bucket. You can do refills here too. Uh, actually, they're a little bit more expensive here. I think they're like 10 cents more for some strange taxes. Okay. Depending on the county. Oh, because of the county. That, okay, so that's how in the regular parks it's 225 here. I think it's like 236 or 237. That makes sense. So you're technically kind of in, uh, yeah. there's two counties. It's Orange County and Osceola County. And yeah. Disney kind of uh, uh, is a little bit on both. So that makes sense. But here you guys can see, there is the big pool. This is kind of what highlights Typhoon Lagoon for me. You can see those big waves that come in. There's really no other wave pool like this around in Orlando. So this to me in my opinion is my favorite wave wave pool because of those big waves and they're intermittent so they'll run the big waves for a while then they'll calm down they'll have a little bit of smaller ones and then you'll have a little rest so uh they do have some different uh i guess you could say timing with all those different waves in case you know they just keep running the big ones you get tired so they do alternate in between lazy river here Jake's informing, informing me the water is warm in the Lazy River. And what's cool about the Lazy River is there's a bunch of these areas where you can get in and out. So you and can kind of... Huh? And you can be lazy. And you can be lazy. It's probably the laziest river of all, too. It is a very lazy river. So we're trying to kind of find a spot. But I can kind of show you that there's all these spots here. They have, like, the sand. You're, like, on the beach. And this nice little like cemented area you can walk through though like kind of divides it which is pretty cool and jake's informed me that the, he walked a little bit in the wave pool he's informed me that it's not too bad because right now it's not really cold out it's probably about 80 it's supposed to get to about 85 86 today but the sun the sun doesn't want to come out yet they do have this really big clock that i love because when you're out in a wave pool as I turn this way, you can see it. And again, the theming, right? You can see it's all tilted and it's been wailed on by the wind and the waves. But it's still standing and it's letting us know what time it is. 11.20. And it's accurate. I think we found a pretty cool spot to hang out. Let me kind of back up, I can show you. Let's take a right away to keep going. Uh, we kind of made shift here. We kind of moved the chairs around here. 
Oh, there goes Jake, actually. He, he loves this pool like you would not believe. Look at him go. Uh, that's his favorite pool. That's definitely his favorite pool. So, yeah, I think we're going to hang out here. And, of course, now, like we love to do on Medling World, we're just going to take you around, show you a little bit. I do have a full tour. I have a walkthrough tour of this park. If you're interested, I'll leave a description uh, to a link. And the, uh, I should say, I will leave a link in the description of this video if you're interested. I do a whole walk through the whole entire park. But today it's more of an adventure and some information for you guys. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, use this wrist uh, holder, bracket, brace, whatever you want to call it for my GoPro. So I'll still be able to hold it and walk around. But in case we go down some slides, I'll be able to show you what they look like a little bit better. So yeah, now I'm gonna, this is what I usually use guys. So when you watch all my videos, this is, this is 99% of the time. I just use this awesome GoPro, uh, just a nice little holder. Uh, but yeah, now it's time for the wrist. Just figured I'd show you some of my equipment that I like to use. This is what I use for all my vlogs guys. GoPro, love the GoPro. Oh, the water is nice. As right now you can see kind of calm but some of those big waves will be coming I'll show you some in a moment shouldn't be long I'm trying to find out oh, it's Jake straight ahead I see him there he is so Jake and I were hanging out in a pool and I got mom waving me in waving me in I have no idea why but let's go find out What's going on here? Oh, wait a minute. She's got... Maybe she's got something... Snack? Is this an emergency situation to get out of the wave pool? So Roberta called this out for ice cream? What's going on here, Roberta? So I went to check to see if there's anything new. So I guess the, this is all, the whip now. It's all like allergy friendly now. Oh, nice. No more dairy, you know. Did you say Stitch was over here? Oh, we got Stitch. I wonder if they're going to do this normally or if it's just because it's just open. Let's go see if we can see Stitch real quick, guys. Guys, up here at the boardroom, looks like they are doing a uh, Stitch meet and greet. There he is, actually. There's Stitch, yeah. So this usually, I got to find out because this isn't something they normally do at the water park. So you usually do it for like a, um, you know, a special event and things, maybe because it's, back open today but stitch character meet and greets usually um not happening but there he is cool now uh, roberta says come on man let's meet stitch she's next in line so i'm gonna go and see stitch with you let's do it i love to give stitch a nice hug anyway yes in a while it's stitch my friend stitch hug stitch hug Oh man, that's like magical times. That's yeah. what look at, that's what makes Disney so fun right there because it's unexpected. Yeah. And we did ask, we talked to the cast members, they said not typically there'll be characters all the time, but they will do random. So today like, we decide to come over. Sometimes it's gonna yeah. be in Polynesia. So we will be in different places. And the way Robert is describing it, that's kind of the way it's themed. So yeah. it's like, oh no, Stitch decided to come yeah. out today. So uh yeah, but he's at Polynesian a lot, too, yeah. 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 So different characters will, when they decide, so yeah. to speak. Uh, Goofy's not too busy. Maybe he'll come, Mickey. So that was yeah. pretty fun. So, I like it. I like it. Yeah. It's fun when you're at the water park. Especially because it's not too busy here to take a picture. Most of the places in the parks, it's going to be big well, lines. Now the line's long. We just got lucky we got there before. Yeah. Now you can see it coming all the way to the stairs. It took yeah. literally two minutes. Two minutes. And yeah. it's going quick because there's no official photographer. So yeah. make sure you have your phone or your camera. Yeah. All right. Jake's back in the water. Jake's back in the water. I was trying to hope that the big waves would come back. But they'll come back at one point. Right now, it's just kind of those intermittent ones. But we have some more fun to do today. We'll probably get a snack, probably try some food. Bring out the adventure in Medley World. Seems like a kind of a warning to the people that does not want to have the big waves. That's, what, that's a good point, Roberta. Also kind of let you know, hey, if you want to get out before these big waves come, we're going to give you plenty of time. 
I'm sure there's been a little editing here, guys, because <laughs> I've been here about four or five minutes. So we're trying to speed it up just so you don't get bored at home. But it's been about four or five minutes since that first sound. So you do have plenty of time to get out of there if you want. Here it comes, guys. I'm going to back up a little because you're coming in strong. And yes, here it is. And look guys, I want to show you how close I am. So, I mean, you will get affected by those waves even if you can see them splashing up there against the rocks. So yeah, very fun. And now there'll be another one. It's usually about 90 seconds or so, just to give you an idea. So Roberta's gonna go out deeper. She's gonna put the GoPro on her wrist so you guys can really see. She'll go under the water and everything this time. idea now at a wave pool anyway oh, here's another one but i think we're gonna go and try uh there's a family ride uh let's see if we can get on that and of course i think we got to try some food it's definitely getting like lunchtime so let's go find that family ride i wanted to show you guys too they have these complimentary life vests they're not just for kids if for anybody you can use them you'll see You've probably seen some of the people out in the wave pool uh, definitely wearing them. Now, I apologize if there's some water in the camera. Uh, it might be a little muffled, but it should clear up in a minute. So, yes, the family ride's over here. Let's go find it. I'll give you some information about it, and we'll, we'll go for a ride. I want to show you they do have these private, like, cabana areas you can reserve. All right, they come with a little refrigerator, the nice chairs, cushioned chairs. And you can use it for the whole day at the park. So, and they're all, they're throughout the whole park. Uh, I don't think you can actually pick though, reserve the exact one you want. I think it's just kind of like first come first serve when you come and you get one assigned. So that's how it works. But here we are at Advent Miss Adventure Falls, of course, because of the typhoon that's come through. What do you guys say? Let's go for a ride. So we're getting ready to go down. What's really nice about this ride is it's entry level from the ground. So if you have like mobility issues or you don't like climbing stairs, the queue is ground level and then you just walk right in to where the, the water is, where the pool is. Uh, and then you're gonna go right up. We'll see you at the top. It's a fun ride, man. Like I said, uh, I love the fact you don't have to go up the stairs. You just can wait in the line, walk. It took a little while today. It kept kind of like stopping, uh, but usually no more than, you know, 15 minutes or so for that ride on a typical day. Um, one thing I will say, if you're coming, it's March still, and it is, now it's getting warmer, the sun's out, but the air is still very dry. It, we're not into that real summer humidity, real, real, heavy heat so when you do kind of come out of the the water even though the air's warm it's still a little bit chilly in the summer you come out and it's it's like ah oh, it feels good 
but this time of the year, just, you know, a little meddling world advice. Be prepared that when you get out, you might be a little chilly for a few minutes. So I figured I'd show you this. This is all the different places you can get food here at Typhoon Lagoon. I think, though, we're going to get some from Leaning Palms. That's where we're at now. Uh, but they have all kinds of things. They have, like, hot dogs you can get. These are more of a quick little carts. Uh, low Tide Louis. So, lots of different places. Let's see what we got. So, over here, guys, Leaning Palms. Here's our options. I think we're going to just share a couple different things. I know Jake loves the burgers. So we'll probably get the burger, and I think Roberta was saying maybe try that rice bowl with some chicken. Yeah. Oh, pineapple salsa. That sounds good. So originally we we're going to get that rice bowl I told you about, but we ended up having to get some chicken salad because uh, Roberta has an allergy to seafood, and they said that could be a cross-contamination with the rice bowl. So we got a regular salad here, and we got the burger. Let's dig in. So it was kind of cool because the chicken, we just dumped it in because of the cross-contamination. They put the chicken, uh, so Roberta's allergy. Uh, the salad actually looks good. It's got some little uh, mandarin oranges. It's got some cucumbers. It's got the greens, some tomatoes. Hmm, looks pretty good. Jake's already going to town on his burger over It's there. very greasy. Jake's saying a burger is very greasy. Oh my gosh, the salad's so good, man. It's so refreshing. It's all fresh, it's nice, it's crunchy. Oh, I love it. Roberta, what do you think of this salad, man? Mm -hmm. This salad's like an 8.3 to me, easily. Good salad. Jake? Oh, you ate half the burger already? Yeah, it's pretty good. Not bad, a little greasy, but it's a burger, you know? Oh, let me try a fry. You know I love trying fries. These are like steak fries. Fries are good, too. Mm -hmm. Fries are nice. Jake, how'd you like your lunch? Pretty good. Oh, lunch was nice. That salad was so refreshing on a nice warm day. Uh, I, I'm, yeah, I don't know if you could hear Jake. He was saying he liked the taste of the burger, but there was a lot of grease. The fries were good, though. Uh, the salad was nice because it had a lot of fruit in it, and it was kind of like tropical fruity. Uh, I love the little mandarins with uh, lettuce and a little bite of chicken. Oh, it was nice. Uh, also wanted to say too, you don't have to buy lunch. You can bring in your own food. 100% you can bring in your own uh, food here if you wanted to bring in a couple subs. Some pub subs maybe. Or all of my friends from the Northeast, grinders. Leave me a comment if you know what a grinder is. When I first moved down here, I was, remember I went and I said, yeah, I just ordered a grinder and they had no idea what I was talking about. But I know there's people watching know what grinders are. Leave me a comment if you know what a grinder is. Anyway, uh, I think we're almost getting ready to head out. Been here for several hours, three, four hours. I just wanted to show you this cool thing. Roberta found us as we were kind of walking around here getting ready to leave. The surf report shows you all the different, remember I was saying the big surf waves. So like from 10 to 11.30, you get the idea, 2 to 3.30. And then those bobbing ones, the ones that were a little bit calmer when we first got in, they run they run about a half an hour in between. Uh, and then of course the temperature, the water is very warm, it's 86 degrees. And then it gives you the temperature for the day. This is very cool, I love that. So the day turned out, it's still some clouds, but not bad. It, we had a lot of like sunny times, yeah. a little bit off and on, much better than it was when we first came in. Oh, that's the park hours too in there. All right, hang on. We got more information for you here on Meddling World. This is cool too. So if you come in and say you want to go to one of the parks later, it does show you all of the different hours. We're actually thinking about probably most likely going to Hollywood Studios later today. So that one closes at nine. So very cool. And then if there's anything special going on, they'll show you there. Guys, that wraps it up from Typhoon Lagoon. Thank you so much for watching. Please take a moment, subscribe to Meddling World if you haven't yet. Thank you to our Patreons. And last but not least, see ya!